The scientists of tomorrow are tackling the big job today, saving the earth, and that includes a local nonprofit, Scientific Adventures for Girls. Let's bring back our VNA Arana, our meteorologist, who's taking a look at the program that's helping shape the future of science. This is an exciting one for me. Now, this program is all about empowering young girls to take on the world of STEM by encouraging them to be curious, want to discover, and most importantly, ask questions, right? Now, the activities that we got to see from them are certainly going to spark curiosity that helps shape the future of science, Chanel. Go ahead, raise your hand. What did you and your partner talk about? The planets. What about the planets? One of our, our main motto is to change the face of science literally, and we want girls to be represented. Um, and research says that the stereotypes uh, that girls have for themselves and that society places on them starts early. The sun is a star, and stars constellations. The constellations are pictures of stars or stars that make up pictures in the sky. So Scientific Adventures for Girls, uh, we're a small nonprofit located in Berkeley, um, and our main after-school program is a 27-week hands-on science uh, in K-6 schools. Uh, and we're in 21 schools in Oakland and Richmond mostly, and we serve uh, about 650 girls in our main program. Um, my favorite part is that we get to learn new things and build. My name is Alexandra. I played with my friends. I had a lot of fun. We do have a role model uh, part of our program, and so every session we try to have a female scientist in the specific field come and visit every classroom. So the goal is each site gets to meet three female scientists who look like them and hear about their experiences. You can do anything. You can do science, and you can learn. If you just hear what people just say, mm -hmm. you can learn new stuff, like mm -hmm. I did. Ready? One more time. Constellations. Now, the program has served over 5,000 families, Janelle, and they learned everything from protecting Mother Earth, recycling, mm -hmm. as you saw, to the planets. And, you know, this program really focuses on representation, yes. right? Showing them women scientists, but also diversity. Yes. One of my favorite things whenever I go into classroom settings is when I start speaking in Spanish and I get a student in the crowd that says, Tú también hablas español? You speak Spanish too? And it's just really nice to see. And I'm looking forward to working with this program as well. I know they're getting jazzed about science. Mm -hmm. They're going to be just like you. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> if you would like to volunteer or be a part of the program, we're going to make sure to link the organization on our Climate and Crisis website. Okay, thanks, VNA. You got it.